Welcome to Photoshop in 5, my name is Julius and I've been teaching Photoshop full time for the past 5 years and in this video I'm going to show you a really secret feature in Photoshop that allows you to add realistic atmosphere to your images in seconds. A good atmosphere is arguably one of the most important aspects of any realistic artwork. In the real world we are used to seeing the effects of atmosphere every single day and that's why it's super crucial to learn how to create it from scratch in Photoshop so you can maximize the realism of your work. So I have opened an image here in Photoshop and we're gonna add some atmosphere to this. And earlier I said that I have a secret technique for this. So what you need to do is come up here to filter and then click on neural filters. These filters use machine learning to create some pretty cool effects to your images. And we're gonna focus here on the depth blur option. If you haven't downloaded it yet, just click on the cloud icon. And once you have downloaded it, just turn it on. This filter is actually used for creating blur, but we're gonna focus here on the output depth map only option. So click on this and when you click on it, you going to notice that Photoshop does something pretty amazing. It is capable of creating depth information on a 2D image. And why this is so powerful is because we can now transform this data into a layer mask and we can then brush in some atmosphere without having to do any selection work ourselves. So let's click OK here and you're going to notice that Photoshop creates a new layer. And in order to turn this into a layer mask, we need to come here to channels. You need to hold Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on the option that says RGB. Come back to layers, create a new layer and then just click on the layer mask icon. We have now successfully created a layer mask out of our depth map so we can turn our depth map layer off and we can click on the empty layer and start brushing in some atmosphere. So select the brush tool, come to the brush menu and we're going to use my fog brushes. I have created hundreds of cool custom brushes for Photoshop. I will pick the first brush here and first I want to demonstrate. So I'm going to sample a color by holding alt and clicking on the sky and I will increase my flow to get a little bit of a stronger effect. And now when I brush on this empty layer you can see that we are are actually brushing this information behind objects that we didn't even have to select and that's all thanks to the depth blur feature that Photoshop has and I've been using this non-stop since it came out and for the people who don't understand how this works it's actually pretty simple layer masks work with black and white data and black is the color that hides an effect from your layer and white is a color that reveals so simply all of the areas that are a little bit darker here do not get the effect brushed in as strongly as the wider areas so now that you understand how this works let's create a cool effect with this. So I'm going to decrease my flow a little bit and I am going to grab a color from here by holding alt and then I will just brush some fog over here. I also want to make sure that I get some fog into the foreground to separate this rock from the rest and I just keep quite freely brushing in here maybe also on top of this rock here but with a darker color. So let's choose a darker color and just brush some fog over these areas as well. Maybe even more behind this rock and then I will sample a color from the sky and just brush overall on the whole sky. Another the thing I like to do is create a new layer and duplicate this layer mask. So I will hold Alt or Option on Mac and just drag this layer mask to the new layer. And this layer we will turn to Overlay. And with this overlay blending mode, we are able to add some highlights here in a really cool way. So pick a bright blue color and then just start brushing. And you can see that we are going to introduce a little bit of a glowy look to this image. And as it is, this might look a little bit too strong. So we're definitely going to decrease the strength of this effect. So let's come here to opacity and bring this down to like 60 ish percent. Same for the other one. And now we have a really cool effect. I have another thing I always add when I'm working with atmosphere, and that is a color lookup table. So click here on the adjustment. And by the way, if you don't have this adjustment panel here, come up here to window and click on adjustments and you can access them. So we're going to add a color lookup table. I'm going to load a 3D LUT from here called candlelight. And just like this, it looks really bad. But what we're going to do is use a blending mode called luminosity. So make sure that color lookup table is selected. Click on where it says normal here to open the blending mode menu and just select luminosity. And I usually use this to draw attention away from areas where I don't want people to look at. So in this image we have a lot of structured areas here in the foreground and I want people's attention to go more here into the middle. So what I can do I can hide this effect now from the areas where I don't want it to be visible. So I will come to the brush menu select a normal brush and with quite a high flow percentage like 40% and with a black color selected we can now brush this effect away from the areas where we don't want it to be visible. I will make sure that it's not visible on the bright areas and maybe not here in the foreground as much either but I do want to make it visible here on the mountain. If I turn all of these layers now on and off you can see that this is what we started with and just with very simple steps we were able to achieve a really cool soft glowy atmosphere to our image. So that's how I create and enhance atmosphere very efficiently in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the Photoshop channel for more awesome tutorials.